Scientists create a real life robot that actually bleeds. Welcome to Inform Overload. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Here's why you should be subscribed. Because we find the most interesting news stories on the internet and we make them more entertaining. All for you. Not only does this new robot bleed, it also breathes, pees, cries, and has a pulse. For the love of God though, just don't show them those Boston Dynamics videos where they hit robots with baseball bats. Then we'll really be screwed. The robot uprising date has just got much, much closer with this new robot that can emulate a lot of different human beings behavior. I mean, they already have these weaponized robots that are malfunctioning, including one that accidentally impaled an onlooker with a 10 foot spike. But now, we're going to have the real life version of Ex Machina, where they blend in with humans. And at the beginning of the video, the robot even says, Hi, I'm Pediatric Hal. I can show you how I feel by moving my face and my eyes. Yeah, because that's not creepy at all. The narrator in the video also goes on to explain that HAL is part of a brand new line of medical training robots manufactured by a company named GOMARD. GOMARD makes human-like robots that simulate childbirth, newborn care, surgery, and trauma wounds. Pediatric HAL is designed to mimic the reactions of a child around 5 years old. During training, doctors, nurses, and first responders all practice various simulations on HAL before treating real patients. This is how we all die. Every sci-fi movie starts with them being there to help us, and then they end up resenting how we treated them, leading to our ultimate denies. But wait, there's more. Henry, a director and clinical professor of nursing at Florida International University, said they know it's a mannequin and it's made of plastic and electronic parts, but they look beyond that. So we ask them to forgive the fact that it's not a real patient, and once they break through that, they really start making very human connections to the patient in front of them. To give you an example of this, pediatric Hal began to cry, so one of the nurses even picked it up to console it even giving the robot a hug. Notice how I said it and not he. Don't get me wrong, this will probably advance the intelligence of our medical community and make procedures a lot safer and better for humans overall. But think about what a human-like robot does to our brains. We respond to people's emotions and react accordingly. If robots begin to emulate those emotions, they can easily fool us into believing that they're real. It's just a matter of time before the robots are indistinguishable from us. At that point, it'll be too late. I want to know what you think about this though. Is this a good thing or is it the end of the world as we know it? Please leave me your comments down below. Now let's check out some of your featured comments from the video titled, Jake Paul and Rice Gum in huge trouble for promoting mystery box gambling scam. The Deshaun Allen says, when I hear Rice Gum, I literally think of rice and gum. Rice gum would taste horrible in my opinion. Chicken fried rice gum? That'd be better. Hannah says, that's not fair, more YouTubers did it too. Yeah, of course other people did it too, but they don't have nearly the same amount of views or subscribers as these two knuckleheads. That's why it's important to talk about them specifically and the impact that they have. Thank you, next. Blah 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 says, instead of these two loons, can't we just give IO tens of millions of subscribers and views? Yes, yes, please share this video with your friends and throw some views on my channel too while you're at it. Triple Threat J says, why would they promote a gambling site if they're rich? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense. Also, why are they so excited about winning things they could buy hundreds of with the sponsorship money that they got from the site? Tay Tay says, I'm 12 and I think the mystery box site is fake and is a scam. Now that's a smart kid. And also, Lil Tay, is that you? Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe like I said in the beginning. And if you want more videos like this one, click that playlist on the screen. Plus, as always, if you find any new and exciting stories like this one that you want us to cover, look for my Instagram in the description below. Send me a DM. From Inform Overload, I'm Johnny Rogers. And until next time, take care.